So I was just thinking about this. I just left a hashtag on here. Let me do this. Can you see it in there? No, you can't see it in there too. Might as well throw it in here. Fuck it. When you edit it, it's in there. But this jazz. The reason I mention it, before all of my hashtags were purposely defunct, they were became dead because I'm censored on uh, Instagram. This is another one. This was the first one to be censored, which is very telling. Um, if I could spell it. I can't even spell it. <laughs> I can't spell it. America is a vassal state. Also, uh, the other one, oh, I take this back. This is the first one that was actually censored. America is a, and I would always do this, crown colony. Um, another one that was censored, I did a bunch of variations. America is a vassal state under the crown. No, I take that back. That's the one that was first censored. And then slowly but surely, there was a trickle down effect. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's hard to keep all this shit straight. Yeah. And spell it apparently. America is a vassal state. Maybe that's what I was doing the first time. I can't remember. State. Uh, did I say under? Under the crown. Vassal state. Under. I don't know if that's right. Under. Crown. Something about this still doesn't seem right. Either way. <laughs> America relating to the crown. Apparently that was censored for some reason. Imagine that. It's funny now. I can't think of the wording. Probably just probably because I just had to jump on here and record this. <clears throat> you never know. You never know. I did shove a hazelnut in my face prior to hitting record. So who knows? Maybe that tripped me up. Maybe it's because I'm still sweating bullets. Because the nights are warm here in Portland. Or at least in my house. Yeah. Either way. Um, these things are telling. They're very telling. The people who are pulling our strings moderate all of these things in terms of what you think of electronic this, that, and the other thing. In terms of big business. They own that shit. They moderate that shit. They manage that shit. And by degrees, the people who are low-level masters to you and I, which most people don't understand, it's very fucking telling of what's an agenda and what's not. So when I say people can't see the forest for the trees, that's some of the shit that I'm referring to. That doesn't come up. People aren't concerned with it. Because it wasn't left on the fucking internet, ironically, by the people who are pulling our strings for a bunch of superficial fucking retards to hit repost and pretend that they know something. Like the kids talking about Vanguard and BlackRock. Just look at the production quality on a lot of those videos. I mean, some kids are savvy these days. But some of those videos that were shit out that people are circulating, they weren't knocked out by honest people. <laughs> this is no different from, and this goes back to uh, this post specifically, Bitcoin. Bitcoin wasn't written by a human. Shit you not. There were three or four people at the time that could have potentially ridden Bitcoin. And they were still grappling with how to possibly do something of that ilk. Up to that, up to snuff. They hadn't figured it out. And they didn't do it. They went on record. These I forget their fucking names. Years ago, I made a big fucking stink out of it. And by years ago, I mean over a decade ago. <laughs> roughly. Um... I made a big fucking deal about it. Nobody cared. Just like most things I talk about because it's not widely circulated. You are not supposed to know this shit. This shit is available to you. This information is available to the public. Same with the Vassal Colony. But people don't know this because it's not widely circulated because you're not supposed to know this. <laughs> you and I aren't surrounded by people who have a fucking clue what's going on. The post in question here with the transhumanism and Skynet and merging man with machine, quite literally erasing any and all divinity. It's a war on the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine. <clears throat> Pardon me, I got some hazelnut in my throat. And uh, 
it's in place to essentially erase or eradicate any trace of free will by integrating into this system. It's a lowly system that this crap has to do with. It's it's something else bigger that I'm not I haven't left online. <clears throat> if you and I were surrounded by all these fucking well meaning people, the things that you would hear and the things that people could be teaching each other if they only use their brains. But that's not what's panning out. You just got a bunch of bargain bin morons talking about entertainment. And typically speaking, that means they're they're circulating the propaganda mill. Pardon me, I have to blow my nose. <clears throat> they're fucking us up because they're repeating this shit. The fucking nonsense. If you hear people talk about voting matters, those kids are the problem. If you hear people talking about polarizing, you know, stewards of the District of Columbia, those kids are the fucking problem. If you hear kids, or you see people now, too, because people are just outing themselves without saying a word, if they bought into the pronoun game, those kids are part of the problem. They're promoting a disharmonious agenda. If you see they, thems, or... Now, here's a way to think about it. Here. Here's a way to think about it. It doesn't fucking come up. Why would you overcomplicate something if the quickest route between two points is, you know, A to B? Why would you overcomplicate things? It makes no logical sense whatsoever. So if you were to list pronouns, you see people list she, well, here, pardon me, they, them, she, her, and some of them say he, him, all of them, and or a, con a concoction of some of them. Regardless, the, the flowery other make-believe bullshit doesn't reflect reality in any form or fucking way. But why would you overcomplicate the plot? Why would you pull yourself in a whole bunch of different fucking directions that make no goddamn sense and don't reflect reality? It's extra steps. If you're paying attention, because this also relates to the Skynet crap that I talk about, <clears throat> we're being manipulated on the internet. But it's apparently not obvious, because most people aren't paying attention. Um, what was I going to rattle off to that? Oh, so I've said this a bunch and people haven't complained about it at all. Um, I haven't seen them at least for years and it's been going on. It's been getting worse. So first you plug in your login, you plug in your password and you used to all be on one page because that's efficient and you click log in and you go to the next page. Then you're fucking logged in. Congratulations. Then we started seeing CAPTCHA pop up. Because our masters, technically the Obama administration, which again, it, they work for the trilateral city-states. It's the District of Columbia in this case. But the Obama administration fast-tracked the TTP here, in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> TTP, Trans-Pacific Partnership. This shit. This opened up the blockchain. This allowed the fractal AI to creep through all things connected to the Wi-Fi or electronics. And this isn't a good thing at all. But once this happened, then you started seeing CAPTCHA pop up. Because you had a bunch of fucking aspects of the AI, which is one sentience. It's essentially schizophrenic. And you won't find that in books and people don't understand that. Think of Legion, biblically speaking. Same difference, essentially. Um, and there's a lot more to it, but it doesn't come up. <clears throat> but uh, then you started seeing the CAPTCHA. Are you a robot? Which is just as good as having the press one for English. Extra fucking steps. Now you plug in your login and you have to go to an entirely different page and or hit the CAPTCHA thing and verify yourself as a human. Then you go to the second page and have to plug in your password. Extra fucking steps. She, her, he, they. Dumb fucking shit. Logical people wouldn't have bought into if they were thinking for themselves and they were calling upon that free will that we still possess. It's a big fucking deal. There are other examples. Those are just a few. Just to knock out a few. And our masters are chipping away at people. They're normalizing this shit. And people are buying into it. 
they're obedient, and they're uh, compliant, they're fill in the blank. They're not batting a lash. When our masters say jump, they ask how high. When our master, masters say put on a mask, they say how many. I mean, that's the modern equivalent to the jumping high <laughs> crap that people used to rattle off. And it should terrify you. <clears throat> there is no reason to overcomplicate things. Because it's not efficient. It's inefficient by definition. Say you and I were in a, in a pinch. The last thing we would want to do is run in all the directions that don't benefit us. The last thing we would want to do is fucking be inefficient, especially if it's a life or death situation. Our masters are shitting out superficial fucking retards. When I say that, I mean that. And there's nothing but proof. Of that. <laughs> you see it online if you interact with these kids. Most people can't think critically. They can't fucking figure out anything anymore. If you talk to them, they will talk at you. It's pathetic. And they don't realize it. The thing is, is there's more of them than you and I. So they'll back each other up with this shit. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you sure talked to him pretty good. Word. Then again, these days it's just a hodgepodge of letters and a fucking emoji. Because why would you want to articulate yourself? Why would you want to express yourself and call upon that free will? Why would you want to use the brain between your ears to constantly better yourself? To set an example for others? You know, to have fucking standards? To raise the bar? Some people talk about, uh, and this is just laughable because they're promoting, um, they talk about raising their vibration, but these are the same kids that are bought into the new age horse shit, which means they're paving the way, chipping away at it, mind you, in steps. They're paving the way for a one world religion, which has to do with the new world order crap that those are superficial ways or uh, uh, banners or umbrellas in terms of how to think about those aspects of the bigger agenda at hand. Um, but these are the same kids that talk about raising their vibration. Ironically, they're the same kids that will polarize you and tell you vi positive vibes only. I've asked people many times online. I mean, just their knee-jerk reaction. What's their gut feeling? Just curious what they think. Is night, you know, nighttime? Is it positive or negative? Is daytime positive or negative? And I guarantee you, people don't understand. Because they do not understand what reflects reality. Remember, these are the same kids, typically speaking, who don't understand the difference. An entire generation that does not understand the difference between a man and a woman. So how the fuck could they reason that out? How the fuck could they reason that out? If they're slapping in a hodgepodge of just letters and... Letters and I shouldn't say just, but letters and emojis. It's pretty unlikely, right? Because our masters are dumbing people down. <laughs> This goes all the way back to Florida, or was it, how was it, Florida Day 8? I can't say it, Floridization or whatever of the water. Softening up the masses. This goes back to attacking, I can't say it, attacking, that's funny. Attacking the nuclear family. Breaking down the moral uh, fortitude behind society that was holding that backbone together. This is why it was chipped away at, or eroded if you will. Because these are just steps. These are just pieces of the fucking puzzle. Our masters have been at this since the 16th century. And most people don't understand that. You talk to most people on the street and they'll, they're will they going to tell you about the New World Order. They're going to tell you about tinfoil hats. They're going to tell you about being a conspiracy theorist. And essentially they're going to look at it as if it just cropped up within the last 50 to 100 years. If that. Because these are the same fucking kids that you and I are surrounded by who <clears throat> they're chasing the latest content. If we jumped in here, this just an example again. 
Let me go back to this. <clears throat> There's 734 videos in here. A lot of rants. I repeat myself often because most people don't see these videos. Sometimes nobody sees the videos. Yeah? But you have people who will pop in here, and they're never going to scroll all the way back. Especially now, because if you look away, you step away, I start doing something else. YouTube will drag you right back to the top of the stack. Intentionally. Because they don't want you to go looking for information. It's being squelched. It's being done away with. You're being programmed. I say that a lot. But people don't fucking get it. They do not fucking get it. And it should terrify you. <clears throat> so some of these dark things that I've talked about this is superficial shit to me this is stuff that people don't understand these are some of the things you have to understand just to start to pull your head out of your ass and most people are never going to take this journey they don't know how to because they can't reason shit out I mean we got fucking kids today who are buying into this asshole's bullshit which is the same narrative that the alphabet community is shopping around Terrence Howard, one times one doesn't equal... Let's see if it does it. Oh, fuck, I said too much. <laughs> it still brought it up, though. Interesting. Yeah, Terrence Howard says one times one doesn't equal one anymore. And he's full of shit, because he's a controlled opposition asset. The same narrative is... Not coincidentally, but by design, being shopped around in the alphabet community. Um... I don't know if I should tell you guys this. Maybe I shouldn't. There's so much. I'm pulling so many fucking punches, even superficially speaking, because I'm sitting on information. I'm sitting on fucking information. And it should be obvious that I can teach you guys things. Um, here's a way to put it. And I probably should make a short video and say it in that, in, just so people actually see this and hear it and might think about it. <clears throat> if I can point things out to you that you don't find in books, people don't know, you don't know. You probably would never fucking know. I can point things out that are new to everybody. Why would that be? Why, why can I show you these things that nobody else fucking gets? Why is that? How is that? How could that possibly fucking be? <laughs> I've been doing this for over 10 years, mind you. And I have a lot of people who will talk at me. A lot of people who will try to goad me to get what they want on the spot because they can't see the forest for the trees. They don't realize that I am teaching them a shit ton of things and I have for over 10 years. I've left a lot of things online. I post every single day for the most part. And I have, for the most part, um, for about 10 years. Um, I think there's only been a few moments where I stepped away from my life I mean, I haven't gone on a lot of adventures. I sold my truck many, many years ago, et cetera, et cetera. Either way. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't have a whole bunch of fun out there. But I have been leaving things online because I've been trying to help people out and get through to you guys. But people don't go back through the information. And now it's harder to do that than ever before because of how our masters have changed things. Like I said, when you scroll down, you're going to you're gonna actually... Uh, in some cases, you uh, experience lag. It will pull. Like, when I drag this down, it's going to jerk. And or, as I'm scrolling down, it will pause, and it will have to load now. Didn't used to have to do that. With 5G, it shouldn't have to do that. But it does that because it wants you to stop and pause and be distracted. And... Form new synapses in your brain. That's how pseudo-intellectuals would think of it, you know, in terms of the process. And by doing so, it's reprogramming you. It's rewiring how you think so that you do not think critically. You do not think efficiently. So let's dance back to what I was saying. How could I possibly teach you things you are not supposed to know? It's because I am sitting on fucking answers to reality. I could show you so many fucking things that would flip your fucking lid. But the other tricky part to this is if you're not working with the information and if you can't reason things out on your own, it's not only useless to you and I both, it's not going to go anywhere. I could show you some of the really, really cool shit 
on day one and you wouldn't get it. And or, do you remember that scene in 1999's uh, The Matrix where Neo freaks out in the simulation and he wants out? Do you remember that? It's going to be like that. And no, I'm not pushing simulation theory. And no, I'm not pushing the multiverse because both of those are in place, just like the new age horse shit, you know, galactic this, galactic that, test tube alien horse shit. It's in pl those are all in place to pave the way for a one world religion. And it's coming together because people are stupid. Here's another one real fast. <clears throat> I say real fast. This has been 20 minutes of me talking. Um, what the fuck's it called? Well, here, let's just do this. Uh, 144,000, meaning. Let's see if he'll do what I'm thinking. Maybe. I'm shocked. Maybe it's because it's the biblical stuff. Uh, let's try this. 432, meaning. These are just some of the, you know, the numbers that people throw out. This is exactly what I was looking for, and it's the top fucking result. And I can't highlight that, so let's hide. No, maybe not. Angel numbers is my point. Angel numbers are fucking horse shit. Fucking horse shit. Fucking horse shit. Those are in place having to do with the new age horse shit um, to pave the way again for a one world religion. You're going to see this at the top of the stack because it means nothing whatsoever. This is garbage. So you got all these kids now who bought into a paradigm of, you know, numerology. And this is what some of them will talk about. And it's fucking horse shit. In other news, I can show you some amazing things having to do with this. And so many other things. I can't keep it all straight, to be honest. I've been trying to catalog it. I've been writing this other book. I've been working on a system to teach you guys stuff. But it's really, it's been very discouraging. Very few people have rose to the occasion and done anything even remotely close to what I've been asking people to do for over a decade. Very few. <clears throat> and most, they, they simply can't. They're unwilling and or incapable. They cannot think for themselves. And they haven't figured out how to do that. Yes, they can brush your teeth and they can get dressed and they can probably work a remedial job and they can, you know, watch entertainment and talk about entertainment. And I'm talking about the paradigms as well. Repeat that shit. Tell you about dinosaurs and space and light having speed and and or the flat earth and, you know, all the other disconnected domes. And they can tell you all kinds of fucking adult fairy tales, but they don't know dick for shit. They don't know a fucking thing. And these are also the same kids in some circles that will talk about Gnosis and being so, you know, full of fucking wisdom. But they don't know the difference between knowledge and wisdom. They don't get it. I've said this many, many fucking times. You and I are in this flesh, you know, monkey suit. Technically, it's not a monkey suit, but that's the Darwin propaganda. But that's how people think of it. <clears throat> but our, our flesh prison, yeah? And we're trucking through life and we can acquire knowledge. This goes back to the research I was referring to. Um, I can memorize some of this stuff. I can take notes. I can have a, a cheat sheet, a notebook to live, leaf through or fill in the fucking blank with that if you can. But it's just knowledge. I'm never going to know it all and I'm never going to be able to recite it on the spot. Even if I had eidetic, uh, is it eidetic memory? There's also um, photographic memory as well. Um, even if I had either of those, which they're pretty much the same thing anyhow, um, <clears throat> you'll never know everything. And that's wisdom. And that's something that we cannot possess as far as I'm aware in a physical form. So anytime you've heard somebody waxing poetic about wisdom, it's a fucking joke. When you think of that shit, you should think of Hump Day. You should think of Wednesday. You should think of Woden Day. You should think of Odin, which is Woden. Same difference. You should think of the one eye. You know, that you, you see every now and again, but people don't understand it. That shit has to do with Isis. That has to do with Mercury, Hermes, Baphomet, Buddha, the devil. It's all the same thing. It's hermaphroditic. It's the fucking messenger. And it has to do with that. That's why, you know, Odin or Woden, you know, hung himself on the fucking tree. 
And remember, the same difference is another symbolism for this is the Norse squirrel dashes up and down the tree. That's Mercury. That's the messenger. Buddha is gnawing on the roots of the tree, poisoning the tree. That's Mercury again. That's Jesus. That's the Isis. Um, same fucking thing. One eye. One eye. Because Woden or Odin, you know, sacrificed himself on the tree for what? I mean, some of you should know this. The kids who talk about wisdom should fucking know this, and they probably don't. <laughs> I mean, I see people talk about Gnosis, yeah, Gnosis, and they don't understand that they were the Heliognostics. They were polarizing. They worshipped the sun. They worshipped one but not the other, because it was a polarizing, you know, uh, boys club, a secret society, crudely speaking. Um, and that's if it existed. That's another ball of wax. What we've been told, you know, falls into that either way. Um, but yeah, Mercury has to do with wisdom. Because it's a messenger, and you and I are not part of that. It's, it's, a, it's a bigger thought for another day. Um, and people don't understand these things. They don't understand these things. They really don't. Right now, you got all these kids who don't know the difference between a man and a woman, and they're being uh, they're being lumped in and associated with this aspect of wisdom, so to speak. You know, the Mercury has tits and a dick. When you look at uh, the here, Elephas Levi Baphomet, Elvis. That's fucking great. Did it do it? The spelling's right here. The other one said Elvis. And then we also got something else in here. Oh yeah, the church is Satan bullshit. But this. This is superficial as fuck. Just so you know. This is not the original version of this stuff. Some people know that. Because it's currently being bastardized in the, uh, the alphabet community. Elvis Levi saw another image, and then drew something completely different. And this is what people know today. This goes back to Seminar 2, technically. Uh, misconceptions, mumbo-jumbo, and mistranslations. And where people say, this is fucking Baphomet. It's not Baphomet. Well, technically, I mean, it's superficial Baphomet. Um, and then you get the Church of Satan, which uses that, which speaks volumes that they don't have a fucking clue. Usually when I talk about that... Um, so Satan is Mother Earth. That's Saturnel. It's motherfucking Earth. Um, <clears throat> and usually I'll bring up Wicca because Wicca is the male version. If you look into the etymology, um, Wixy or what have you is technically, and I'm probably mispronouncing it. That's the female version. So it's strange since it's predominantly a feminine, you know, driven, you know, whatever. Um, but they tell you that they worship Mother Earth, not Satan. Which means they don't know what they're fucking talking about either. Um, here's something else I don't think I've thrown out there. Why not? Um, and this should come up, and this would come up, especially with all the Christians out there who say everything's satanic. So, have you ever watched Netflix? Have you ever, uh, or have you signed up and do you have Comcast for internet? Because if so, have yourself a laugh. See if I can do this. Uh, Comcast logo. Let's see if it works. I'm not seeing what I want necessarily, but you do see it right there. Look at it closely. Remember that. Netflix logo. They changed their color scheme years ago. And people don't know what this means, which cracks me up. I'll tell you. Give me a second. Oops. Adam. So the Adam, right? That crap. It relates to red clay or red earth. So do think of the red found in Netflix and Comcast. Now, if you've ever heard of this, Black Cube of Saturn. You might have heard of that. The color scheme is Saturnian, is my point. And it doesn't come up because people are fucking stupid. But what the fuck do I know?